What's going on YouTube? I am Trey Herrera and today I am going to run you through all of my LSA supercharger parts. So today uh, I was rotating my tires and I decided to take out the grill inserts. I think it looks a little better, my personal preference, but uh, car's looking real good, it's running good, super strong, but um, it's not supercharged and it's not exactly where I want it to be yet. This is what we got, um, I got the LSA charger, uh, so far I've already replaced the solid isolator, so, so you see that this spins with zero play. Um, and that's roughly like 15 bucks to replace that. I already got the fuel injectors installed on the charger and also the gaskets here. I also put in a new gasket here. Now I do have uh, supercharger oil that I have to uh, change out so once the build gets a little bit closer uh, I'll be doing that as well. Okay this is pretty much all the parts you'll need to install um, or to be able to install this supercharger onto a GTO. So let's start with I got heat exchanger here. I got an aftermarket. This one has a it's a dual core, and I am not going to be running a heat exchanger reservoir because this one holds quite a bit of fluid. So I don't believe it will be necessary for this particular build. Next up, um, I got head adapters. Um, because I will not be running the LS3 heads, I'm going to be keeping my factory 243s. And yes, they will clear the hood, but you will have to do some trimming. Okay, next up is what I got was um, I got a new fuel pump because you need a lot more fuel when you run a supercharger. With a supercharger um, for the GTO, you could get these little guys. It is a DW300C. Um, it's a stock replacement for the GTO, so it should just drop right in the tank and you're good to go for your fuel source. A lot of these parts you could get from a factory Z01 car or a CTSV. I chose to go aftermarket with the, the Johnson's pump. This is for your heat exchanger. This is so you could run the coolant through the heat exchanger through the intercooler brick in your lid. Um, and this is an aftermarket one, and this is a uh, uh, three quarters. Okay, next up is the CTSV lid. You guys see this lid? This goes on the top of the supercharger. Um, I got the brick. Now, when I picked up the brick, um, it was collapsed, so I went and had it reinforced. So, what you do to have this reinforced is when it's bent, um, you could cut out the center. Be very careful when you do that. Um, cut out the center of this piece here and then you get a lot thicker piece and you have it welded and this one was TIG welded on the guy did it for me real cheap awesome I also had to uh, pick up um, a map sensor this is a let's see it's a bar a three bar map sensor from CTSV alright this is what I got going on here this is the hardware for the heat exchanger um, I picked this up from a company called Frozen Boost. They're actually out of Colorado Springs and actually that's where I got the heat exchanger for as well and they're really really fast with shipping. They got it to my doorstep within two days after ordering so that was awesome. Um, highly recommended. Frozenboost.com. Check those guys out. You get everything you need. When you order the CTSV supercharger, the LSA, um, usually they don't, they don't come with the hardware. I got hardware. This is for the head adapters and to bolt the charger down. This is for the CTSV lid. All very cheap. And this is for my fuel rail. Now, with none of this, of course, you can't run any of the parts that you just bought. Okay, I got this guy off of, uh, I believe, LSX Concepts on eBay. Um, pretty much this is a ZL1 uh, LSA fuel rail. It's brand new. I'm pretty psyched on it. Um, usually you can pick these guys up for right around 280. 
Um, it's really hard to actually find one used, which I looked on a lot of the forums and everything. Um, so I ended up just buying one new. Um, and this is going to tie down my fuel injectors and everything else. What I have to do next is I have to install my pulley setup. This is a Olsen's Custom LSA swap kit um, that is specific for the GTO. Um, the guy is named Jesse. He sent me this. He also sends uh, information or a write up on how to install all of these. So here's the pulley to run with your stock accessories, um, your idler, and the idler wheel. And it will allow the CTSV charger to run off your stock accessories on the GTO. Got this off of eBay. They're very cheap, about 15 bucks. Um, superchargers have oil in them. You must replace the oil, especially off of these used units that you could get off of eBay for fairly cheap. So I got the AC Delco supercharger oil. I will be replacing that upon install. Uh, it comes with the syringe and, and uh, everything you need to swap it out, so that's pretty cool. Very cheap. I got this LS7 clutch, it's used about 10,000 miles on it, and I know what you guys are saying, you should guys get a twin disc, blah blah blah. I didn't pick the twin disc up because it was out of budget. That thing's like $700. So I picked up the LS7 clutch, I got it for really, really cheap. That's um, the main reason why I didn't pick up a, say, a McLeod or a Spec type clutch. Um, the LS7s have a 500 horsepower rating. Um, I believe the car should be able to handle, or the clutch should be able to handle that no problem. I also won't ever be racing it. I'm not going to take it to the strip or anything. This is mainly just a street car build. Um, so the LS7 clutch should be more than enough, I believe. If not, I'll upgrade in the future, but uh, for right now, that's what I'm going with, and it was within my budget. What I'm lacking? What I'm lacking is the fuel line adapters. Um, the LSA fuel line runs to the passenger side where the stock LS2 runs on the driver's side. So I need to adapt the from the stock line over to the LSA. And uh, it's just a few pieces. So um, I believe it's a Russell's Fittings dash six and a 3 8 line. So I'll be picking that up soon. Lastly, I believe I need I need my belt. <laughs> I need the belt. I can't really get the belt until I do the measurements of the pulley setup. So that will have to wait until I have the charger installed and then I'll be able to measure out what the length will be for the belt and that will be taken care of. Um, once the charger goes on, this will have to be relocated to somewhere on the fender here or somewhere in here. I haven't figured that out yet. And then I also have this brake booster line that will be running to the brake booster. Um, next thing up, uh, the strut tower bar will have to be taken out. And then you very lightly trim this if you have uh, stock 243 heads. If you have LS3 heads, no worries, the charger will fit. Okay, next up, what I have to do, which will probably happen sometime this week, I'm going to have this guy pulled off. This is the stock CTSV pulley, and I'm going to have this Olsen custom pulley put on. Um, and this allows for the accessories to line up, so it, it runs it a little wider. And I believe this is a six rib pulley versus an eight rib pulley. Um, and the six rib is pretty much for the GTO. Lastly, I just bought these vacuum block off plates so they should be here shortly um, and then I should be good to go on the install now this is a very conservative build um, especially for the air up here um, with our elevation we lose a lot of power we lose a lot of air pressure as well so I am going to be running stock boost the car, the car is on a stock bottom end it is the stock LS2 bottom end uh, fully aluminum and with that being said I would like to keep the reliability up as much as possible so it is a mild build but it should produce a lot of results which will be really fun last but not least I will be changing out the cam um, right now I am on a Texas Speed 228R with a 110 LSA which is awesome 
but I want to go with a positive displacement cam, something that's a bit more choppy so you could really hear me down the street and I disturb my neighbors. <laughs> you guys for watching I hope this video was very informative for you guys um, if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below and hopefully the next time I do an update on the GTO I have I will be installing the supercharger I also will be getting a good tune and we'll be throwing it back on the roller so my goal of 500 wheel horsepower hopefully is obtainable I know a lot of the guys made that so yeah, super excited. You guys don't even know. So excited. Anyway, subscribe to the channel if this was informative, if this helped you out. And thanks for watching, guys. Deuces.